so it's middle of February almost and you know what? Our chickens have started laying eggs again. It's so wonderful. And honestly, it's the four chickens that I thought would have um, was going to start laying this week. When you see this, it's going to be uh, when this video comes out, it's going to be Thursday of the following week. But like, <clears throat> we've got four hens laying, which I thought again, four hens I thought would be laying. And it's really, really fun to be getting those beautiful, valuable eggs all of a sudden, right? But there is something we kind of want to address about these eggs. Tilly, you're laying, aren't you? You're one of them that I knew was going to be laying. You're rock solid, rock solid. You're gonna start soon, Teddy. You're gonna start soon. Who knows if you are not, you're old, but we love you. Sweetness is old, she's almost 10. She's not laying eggs yet. If she doesn't lay, it's okay. <laughs> Come on, Tootie. You're soon, girl, soon. Baby Jane, have you laid your egg yet? No, I don't know if you're gonna lay today. It's hard to say. Maggie, you're who we're going to talk about today, okay? You're the star of the show, Maggie. Not you, Tootie. What do you think, Maggie? Maggie doesn't like me very much. We're going to do this while Maggie's fighting against me. Maggie's a mama's girl. She does not like me very much at all. Probably not much for the camera either, but <laughs> this is Maggie. She's almost six years old, and she's an Easter egger, okay? Let's get her in here real good. Get the camera focused on her, maybe. She's not real happy about it. But we do want to talk about her. <laughs> but you're the star of the show, Maggie. <laughs> you know that? Angela K said, don't drop them. <laughs> and I agree, don't drop them. These are our beautiful eggs. Look at there. See? Let's get them up here. Right, here you go. And these are our beautiful eggs right here. Glorious looking eggs. These, let's see. These four were laid. So those four were laid yesterday. These two were laid the day before, along with this one. Now these eggs represent three New Hampshires that are laying, and Maggie, an almost six-year-old Easter egger, who laid both these eggs. How is it possible you say that she can lay both of those eggs? <laughs> it's a good question. Now, again, this is why we love New Hampshires. They come back faster than our other birds. They do well in, uh, in, our, in our daylight hours. They do they're great. So there are most reliable egg layers. But Maggie laid both of these eggs. What is, what, actually she laid this egg one day and then she laid this one the next. So what does that really mean, right? Well, what does that mean? Is there something wrong with Maggie for laying this egg? Which is, by the way, called a fairy egg if you're not, if you're not familiar. These, it's, a, it's called a fairy egg. Let's see, look at that, right there. That's a fairy egg. It's essentially got no yolk. Well, not essentially. It has no yolk, just a little bit of white. Totally safe to eat if you wanted to eat it. I don't know why, what, what you're going to get out of it, but I mean, if you wanted to eat it, you could. And then this is her normal egg. She's an Easter egg, so she lays green eggs. You know, beautiful egg, though. Look at that. And some people even worry about this, about how, about its shape, right? It's a, why is it shaped like that? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing wrong with it at all. That's just her egg shape. And for th those people who bleed the wives' tail, it does not mean she's going that if she was if it was a fertile egg, there'd be a rooster. Some people believe that that egg right there means it's a that the long elongated spot means it's going to be a rooster. If it's round, it's going to be a hen. Doesn't matter. Uh, ha has no bearing on it at all. This is just Maggie's egg shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's just the uh, size egg she lays. So it doesn't mean every egg would be a rooster or be a male if, if it was a fertilized egg. But that's just a side note. What we're actually talking about today is this right here, right? How can the same hen lay both eggs? How's that possible? Right, it's just some, and honestly, it's a very simple answer. Just misfired. There's nothing wrong with her. She's older. I mean, so she'll be six in April. Okay, she'll be six years old in April. And she's been a great a great layer. Never really had any problems. Super independent. Um, no, not no maintenance done to her at all. She doesn't. She doesn't. She never had any blood on her anywhere. She's never had a foot problem. She's never had an impacted crop. Just a great, healthy chicken. And somehow, she still laid this the other day, right? So she laid she laid two eggs. Took a day off, laid this one, like, actually laid it in her sleep. Okay, be honest with you, it came, it came out of her um, overnight. So it was, it was below her where she was roosting at. And then she laid this one the next day. Some people believe that if your hen lays this egg right here, that she, she's done laying, it's over. 
right? It's not over. It's just a misfire. Truth that's all it is. She, she's not sick, diseased, uh, done laying. Her oviduct doesn't wore out. None of that is true. It just means she had a misfire. Now, if she were to continually lay this egg, then maybe you start getting concerned about her, about her or about the feed that you're using because it just means there wasn't she didn't have enough nutrients in her essentially to pop one out or like her her, her system tried to produce one faster than it then it could really get one together it's, it's just a little misfire in the oviduct system again if you if your hen continually lays this you may have an issue with your feed or with your chicken but just one random one it's no big deal I mean, obviously, she came back and laid this one the next day. Uh, technical, technically, USDA large. It's a it was 58 grams. So that goes back to 2.046. So 2.05, two ounces is a large. You know, so it's a little over two ounces. Perfectly large egg, delicious egg, no problems at all. So do not worry if you just get a random one. Okay, there's an, a little bird didn't get in your coop and lay or like a robin didn't get in there and lay an egg. <laughs> you know, or small bird depends on what color the egg is. Obviously, this one's green. But a small bird didn't get in there and lay her egg. Um, it's not. There's no weird thing going on. It's just a simple misfire. It's not a problem at all. And your chicken, as long as she's can, as long as she doesn't keep doing it, will come back and just lay this one. Right, and typically a pullet can do it sometimes, which is a young hen that may happen once in a while. It may be an old hen who does it. Maggie, like I said, she's aging, she's almost six years old. That's pretty old for a chicken, okay. But she's still doing great, honestly, she's still doing wonderful. And you'll and we can see that by watching her actions. So, again, don't fret, it's okay, it's just a misfire. If she can't, if she keeps doing it, it's a problem. But if not, maybe she'll keep laying those beautiful large eggs thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching I do appreciate it. my name is jason this is art of christian homesteads we love you god bless you and goodbye